Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I saved a ton of money doing DIYs to update my bedroom. Now my biggest problem with this bedroom was the carpeting. We had had this carpeting in here forever and I did not like it. I told my husband I would love to have hardwood floors. The only way we could do it on a budget is to do it ourselves. I started by removing all of the baseboards in my bedroom. Then we ripped up the carpet, which turned into a stripping of the carpet in the hallway as well outside of my bedroom. We put down a black underlayment so it was ready for the floors. Now the floors we're using are an engineered hardwood floor from Lowe's. Now unfortunately they are sold out at the time that I'm filming this video. If they are back in stock, I will definitely link them for you down below. I love the texture on these hardwood floors and I love that they come in different sizes. So they actually came in a five inch width as well as a seven inch width. What we decided to do was just alternate. So you really go through this process of having to lay out all your pieces, which is kind of fun, but you wanna make sure that you mix and match all the different wood tones. I would lay them out and then Chris would come back in and use our nail gun to nail them in place. Now we were able to save a ton of money by doing it ourselves. Did it take a while? Yes, it did, but I love the way they look. I have a whole nother bedroom video where I share with you how I did the baseboards, how I did the accent wall. I'm going to link all of that down below. For my accent wall, I painted that the color Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. And then for the walls, I wanted it to be a nice kind of warm white. I got Sherwin-Williams Swiss Coffee at 75% for the walls. Now in my bedroom, I had a blue table that I wanted to update for my space. That's one of the easiest ways to save money whenever you're making over a room. Take the items that are already in that room you already own and just try to repurpose them. I love the blue color, but I wanted to update it in a green color. So I started by sanding it down with my orbital sander. Next, I went in and stained the whole entire piece with the PPG primer. I really like this PPG primer. I feel like it really helps to grip the paint that you put on top. Next, I'm gonna use a color by Sherwin-Williams called Chimichurri on the entire piece. And I did two coats of paint. So another way that I updated this space, above this table in my bedroom, I used to have some prints hanging on the wall that were our wedding prints. So I wanted to update them in more modern frames. So I went to Walmart and got four frames that were 16 by 20. These were really inexpensive frames, but they gave a lot more of a modern look. I also picked up some white poster boards. Next, I made a template that was the size of my pictures and I put it onto my picture frame. I traced around the template and then I used a rotary cutter to cut out the opening. Then I taped the pictures to the back of the poster boards and then I reassembled everything in the picture frame. And then I hung these on the wall above the green table in my master bedroom. I feel like these picture frames are really updated and I didn't have to spend a ton of money. So 
if you're not currently following me on Instagram, you need to be because I'm always posting behind the scenes stuff that I pick up. And one of the things I showed you were these lamps that I found at the thrift store. I have a pet peeve of buying new lamps. I just feel like they're really expensive and you can find something at the thrift store. Now, the hard part at the thrift store is finding a matching set. So I was really excited when I found this set and it was matching. They were $8 each and I love the shades and I also loved the base. So I wanted black lamps in my bedroom. So I taped off the gold portion at the bottom and the top. I spray painted the lamps with two coats of black spray paint. For my lampshades, I was actually doing something that was completely new to me. I wanted them to be white because they just looked very dingy. I repurposed the curtains that were hanging in my master bedroom that I knew I wasn't going to be bringing back into the room, but they were really nice white fabric and I thought these would be great to cover my lampshades. So total repurposing. To recover the lampshades, I needed to make a template. So I started by using craft paper that I bought at Dollar Tree and I started where the seam is on the back of the lampshade and I drew a circle around until I met back up with the first seam to make a template for this and I did that on the top and the bottom of my lampshade. Once I had my template traced then I just cut it out. Next, I added the template to the fabric and then traced it and then cut it out. I grabbed this Scotch spray adhesive at Walmart and it was my first time using it and I have to say it actually works really well. To add the fabric to your lampshade on the side that you want to stick to the lampshade, you're going to spray a generous amount of the spray adhesive onto the fabric. Next I'm going to place it as smoothly as possible on my lampshade. Now you're going to take the ends and tuck those in, making sure that you have enough spray adhesive. So you may have to go back in and add a little bit more spray adhesive. And I did that on the top and the bottom. For my lamps, I wanted the gold to be a little bit more muted. So I mixed some gold and black paint. And then I painted on the bottom and top portions of my lamp. Next, I assembled them on my nightstand, and I think for $8 plus a little bit of supplies, these lamps look so cute on my nightstands. Now I know I'm gonna get questions about my rug that I have as well as the picture above my bed. And I want you to know that I'm gonna link everything for you down in the description box so you can go check all these out. My rug, I'm loving you guys. I picked it up off of Amazon and it's just the perfect size and perfect shape for this space. So I'm really loving it. 
Now, one of the things I wanted to do in my bedroom was to not have as many furniture pieces as I did before. I wasn't going to put a dresser back in because we keep all of our clothes in our closet. But I did want to have a nice chair because I always enjoy, you know, just kind of like having some kind of seating in the room. So I added in a chair and plant over in my little corner. Those will be linked down below as well. I wanted to repurpose a side table. So I found this really great shaped side table at a thrift store and I thought it was the perfect shape. I just didn't like the finish. To remove the finish, I used a orbital sander to take off all of the stain and finish. I will say this did take me a while to remove all the stain, but I really love the natural finish of it and I was glad that I put in the time to take off all the stain. Now, after I removed everything, I didn't want it to be stained to color. I just wanted it to be very natural. So I came in with a natural stain color and I did one coat on the entire piece. Once that dried, I put it as a side table by my chair and I love the way it looks. So here's a final look at everything in my bedroom. All right, you guys, let me know what I'm missing in this bedroom that you would like more information on or would like to see. Remember, all the links are gonna be available for you down in the description box. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. I post two DIYs each week and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.